we're riding with UN troops through Port-au-Prince's Cité Soleil neighborhood. Tonight, everything's quiet. It's been mostly like this since the earthquake hit. The Brazilian soldiers are keen to show us their softer side. They say they're here to make sure gangs don't exploit the current chaos to retake control of this slum. It's not just the UN peacekeepers who have weapons here. In the cold light of day, the legacy of gun battles waged in 2004 when UN troops first came in to quell factional violence and warring drug traffickers is plain to see. And the presence of foreign soldiers is still seen as an insult to those who remain deeply loyal to former Haitian president Jean-Bertrand Aristide, whose second term ended after he was ousted in a coup in 2004. We've come to Cité Soleil, it's a neighborhood that was where a lot of the violence took place a few years ago. It's also a stronghold of former President Jean-Bertrand Aristide. We're now on our way to be one of his supporters. We've been told that he's armed and that we're not allowed to film where we're going. Hi, Sebastian Walker. Thanks for speaking to Al Jazeera. He's involved in a gang, but his main loyalty, he says, remains with the former Haitian president and his political party, Lavalas. Are you willing to use weapons um, to bring back the former president? Yes, I'm ready. Michel says if peaceful demonstrations aren't enough to bring back Aristide, he warned us, there will be violence. We'll launch attacks all over the country. There will be problems everywhere. Then you'll see how powerful we are. Lavalas means flood, and when the flood comes, it's going to sweep all the garbage out of this country. There's another fear here that gangs could also be bought off and manipulated by the business elite to create disorder in Haiti. This might serve those who want to see the Preval government challenged and eventually removed. Most of these people, they don't care uh, if Haiti loses completely its sovereignty, if they can advance their own agenda under the umbrella of a foreign uh, occupation or protectorate. The Haitian Prime Minister has said that since the quake, the government could collapse given the rising political tensions and divisiveness, and that this has to stop. But as calls for Aristide to return grow amongst Port-au-Prince's poorest, no matter how peaceful it may seem now, there are some willing to fight and kill. When we attack, we're not going to carry out kidnappings. We're not going to attack poor people. We're going to attack the government, the police, and all the soldiers. As long as those feelings remain, and politicians and businessmen of all political leanings can call on armed men to fight their corner, the future here will remain uncertain and potentially dangerous.